The mayor of New York City, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, gave the commencement speech at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, wherein he stated, quote, but over time, we understood that freedoms that are not fully shared are not fully safe. If government can deny freedom to one, it can deny freedom to all. Exclusion and equality are mortal enemies. And in America, every time they have met in battle, equality has ultimately triumphed. This is the most hypocritical part of a speech that I've ever heard him deliver. Because this directly applies to homeless New Yorkers who are disproportionately minorities, disproportionately being denied the same Fourth Amendment rights to be secure in a person, place, and things as people who are not homeless, who are not disproportionately minorities. So if he really believes this, then why is he still backing up Ray Kelly when under the guise of safe streets and law and order, he's depriving thousands of Afro-American and Hispanic New Yorkers of their Fourth Amendment rights? was doing this with reference to um, the gay marriage issue. Because right now, he sees that he can make political hay out of that. So, and this is a political speech. If the idealism that he expresses here with reference to gay marriage, which I agree with, that two consenting adults should have the right to choose whatever mate they feel so inclined to choose. And I agree with Wade, uh, 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 Roe versus Wade, that the government has no business intruding in somebody's bedroom. However, ideologically, he should apply the same ideal to every New Yorker who's under his stewardship. Because you are homeless, and disproportionately Afro or Latino, you should not be a sub-citizen with a lower level of Fourth Amendment rights than other people that belong to the status quo.